Kings Country at kingscountry.net. Uh, Jim King of the radio, fresh off the road. We went to a concert shoot last night in Katy, Texas, to capture some great acoustic footage from a band called the Will Carter Band. Good group. You're going to hear more about them next week, especially at the YMBL South Texas State Fair, because I'm going to bring them on Friday night, the 29th. And we'll actually have them on the tube by then. We're producing a whole episode about the Will Carter Band. Great band based in Katy, Texas area. Good stuff, and check them out at the YMBL South Texas State Fair. You'll see yours truly bringing them all next week. It's Jim King of the Radio Show. Come on in with Her Majesty Megan Bowen. That backward town in my rear view was going to be my whole world. King's Country at kingscountry.net. That's Maggie Ball. I had a little interview with her not too long ago. Think about me. It's a good song. Thanks for listening to the Jim King of the radio show, not to be confused with the TV show. A lot like this with moving pictures, and it's already moved out onto the TV. Strike TV last night, the CW this morning. Three times tomorrow, and then Monday once again on Strike TV. Check local listings. We'll give you a little previews coming up. Straight after this break, we've got uh, Chris Stapleton waiting backstage. Or my name ain't Jim King. The King of Country. I should have known that with the crown you've got on your head there. <laughs> Jim King. <laughs> Streaming from the studio of King of the Road Productions in Beaumont, Texas. Jim King of the Radio behind the wheel. Got a big show this weekend on the Jim King of the TV show. It's already aired a couple of times. Where you been? It's a uh, country and corpus episode. We'll have Frank Foster in the Royal Spotlight thanks to Glenn's Express Collision. Jess Kelly Adams will be with me. And we'll do a Zoom call with Jess from Nashville and talk to her about her new song, Hold On To Me. We'll cruise to Corpus Christi. We were there last weekend. I got to judge a chili cook-off. Tried 24 chilies. Had a little uh, antacid on the side. Uh, John uh, Wolf will kick off the show this weekend. Here's a sample of John Wolf live at Honky Tonk, Texas. King of the road. Jim King of the road. Episode of the King of the Road Show HD. Look who I've got to help me celebrate. It's John Wolf from How Austin, doing, Texas, singer songwriter. Honky Tonk Texas is right up your alley, I think. It is, man. It's uh, good to be here tonight. Thanks for having me on. It all happens in a honky tonk. It does, man. At uh, my first album, it all happened in a honky tonk. Seems to uh, 
uh, uh, come, come back quite often in some of these beer joints. So we're we're happy to be here tonight and uh, happy to have. Uh, Happy to happy to be on with you. Originally from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've got a lot of family there, but I think you grew up in uh, Miami, Oklahoma. Do they they pronounce it like Miami there, or is it Miami? It's Miami. When you, it's yeah. it's kind of a weird deal, but uh, yeah, born in Tulsa, raised in Miami, Oklahoma, and um, you know we get a chance uh, to play up at Kane's Ballroom quite often, but you know most of my career has been made here in Texas. Yeah, well, Texas still loves traditional country music, and that's your specialty. Right. Absolutely, that's what I do. Yeah, but before you got into the music business, you had a uh, pretty respectable job. You were uh, an oil trader in Chicago and then in uh, Houston? That's right. I uh, graduated Colorado State University, uh, so I've kind of been all over the place. I love the mountains and I uh, love Colorado. Went out there after uh, uh, high school and ended up with a finance degree and uh, worked for British Petroleum for a few years on the oil trading floor in Chicago and they transferred me to Houston and that that was a bad move then they transferred me down to Houston because there's too many beer joints and uh, I had ended up having a lot of late nights and and got into country music and and ended up leaving my job and here I am 10 years later yeah and I heard a little story that uh, you actually had a pretty famous uh, roommate at one point a guy named Hayes Carl. How did that happen? That's right. So when I first started in Houston, uh, John Evans uh, was really a, a big influence on me. And uh, John, John was pretty much the reason I'm doing what I'm doing today. He really encouraged me to get going and, and uh, helped me uh, find songs and work on my craft. And, and his, his friend was Hayes Carl, and Hayes needed a roommate at the time, so that's how I ended up uh, living with Hayes. And um, it's, I was a big Hayes Carl fan before I moved in with him, so I was a little nervous for a while, but we, we became great friends, and uh, we go back a lot of years now. Check out John Wolf live at Honky Talk Texas to kick off the Jim King of the TV show this weekend. Three times tomorrow. Check local listings. And thanks for streaming King's Cup. Nothing on earth that'll get me humming like a heat wave coming. I'll come running. King's Country, King's Country.net. There's JR. I couldn't be me without you. Johnny Rodriguez, folks. That's why I'm having a fabulous flashback bear with me King of the road. backstage in beaumont with the legendary johnny rodriguez you've had a long long career discovered by tom t hall huh yeah yeah actually you know, like, like um I, that's the first guy that I, that I was in the country music business with i started playing guitar in his band when i was 20 years old yeah and then from there you know like you know, so the next thing I knew, here I am right here today talking to you. By the time you were in your early 20s, you, you had a bunch of hits under your yeah. hat. And, and, uh, I didn't know what had hit me. You, <laughs> you were all over that net. You were a lead, lead guitar player for a time. Too yeah, well, huh? yeah. But, I didn't uh, want to leave the band, man. Yeah. He had to run me off. <laughs> I was expecting a little bigger guy because yeah. you, you were an actual captain of your high school football team. Yeah, didn't you? yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, I always you... tell people, you know, like, like the, the TV makes us look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, yeah. What you play in football? I play quarterback. You know, oh, did you and, really? And uh, halfback. You know, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So where's home now? Is it still in Texas? Somewhere? Well, yeah, it'll always be there in Savin now, you know. But I've, I travel so much, you know, that I've got different places, different uh -huh. places, and spots in different parts of the country, depending on where I'm traveling. You know. And you had a band called the Spocks. Huh? Oh no, who told you about that? <laughs> yeah. I, I read it. It was probably Judy. <laughs> no, but uh, I. I used to like watching Star Trek. You're a Star Trek fan? Yeah, man. And uh, so me and some guys from my hometown started Mac Tristan and, and Jimmy Woodley and Dusty Parker. It was, well, it was four of us because there was four Beatles and we figured it'd be four of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. This concludes our special broadcast. We now return to Nothing Special. King's Country, kingscountry.net. I got to do a little taste test. I can't believe I haven't done this earlier, but... I liked some of the new artists that were playing, especially Morgan Wallen. Mullet or no mullet? He's a good one. 
Uh, Post Malone, too. They're good ones. He's a good one. Uh, Post Malone shared a clip of a song he's working on with Morgan Wallen. Here's a quick clip of the track. Country, kingscountry.net is the Jim King of the radio show, uh, abbreviated version today. Just did a couple hours just to stretch my legs a little bit. Hadn't been behind the mic on the radio, King's Country, for a couple of weeks. Been so busy with my uh, video business. My video production business is really booming lately, so uh, that keeps me plenty busy. I do like doing this, especially one, you know, especially on Fridays. We had a good time. Hope you did, too. Keep between the ditches and have a good one. Stick around for Fair and Young coming up right after these later, Gators. You rule.